guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on some cool activities that maybe you can do with your child, maybe your grandbaby or your nephew or your niece. Um, I find it cool to do different activities, especially with my son, Amson. He's three years old and he likes to do a lot of hands-on things and likes to get involved. Especially when I'm in the kitchen, he likes to help cook with me. So he'll probably mix something together or maybe he'll season something. I found on Amazon they have really cheap books that you can buy. And I found this um, toddler cookbook that's actually good. So this is a toddler cookbook. And it's a hard cover so it'll, it's durable. And when you open it up it has like the table of contents. So you have like the introduction, the things that you'll need. Um, mini Caesar salad, lettuce bowls, like different recipes that you guys can try and stuff. It's all kid friendly. So like the introduction will tell you what type of utensils or something that you'll need. And like your measuring cups or your pans and your pots and your bowls. See? Things you will need. Then it starts off with like a mini Caesar salad, which is awesome because I think that it's great to get kids to eat their vegetables and stuff. So this is helping them make a salad so that way they can eat it because it's delicious. So it's getting them involved in making salads and stuff. And you can try like different things like maybe you want to make a chicken salad, you help have them make the Caesar salad and then you grill the chicken and stuff. And chop it up and they can top off the salads and stuff. They also have, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting sick. Lettuce boats. These are kind of awesome, especially if your child is into boats and stuff like that. Because, as you can see here, like, it's shaped like a boat. What child wouldn't like to eat a boat? <laughs> or a food shaped like a boat. They also have, that's like, basically like, an, um, an appetizer or something like that. You can see them. They also have little pizzas. These are little pita pizzas. I actually know a recipe that you can use to make pizzas with your child. It's um, simple. I might do a video on it showing you how me and Amson do it. We make pizzas all the time together. All you need is the kind of vegetables that you want or maybe a meat topping that you want. And... All you need is Pillsbury um, biscuits and some tomato sauce and some mozzarella cheese. Simple, easy, and fun to make, and Amson loves it. There are other things like chicken dippers. <coughs> Sorry, getting sick. No. <coughs> um, even some desserts that they can even help you prepare and stuff like that, that they can mix together themselves and you pop them in the oven. I find it very good to have children involved in stuff like this, especially at a young age, because they have like a whole ton of energy. A whole ton of energy that if you let them just sit there and they don't do anything, they'll just have a burst of energy and want to run wild. Right now, I have Amson Condemned. Inside the room, he's watching his movie Gumby. He loves the movie Gumby, and he can watch it a million times. So, that's just one of the type of activities I like to do with Amson. Cooking. Um, some other ones that I like to do with him is maybe some arts and crafts. I like to get creative and stuff like that. So, we might create puppets, or we might do some painting or some coloring. Other things that are good for children to do at this young age is to um, read. I like to read to Amson. He has a whole book collection and it just keeps growing. It was from when I was younger that my books got passed on to my brother. My brother added on books and now my brother gave all those books to Amson and Amson has added on to those and it's like just going to keep growing the library. So... A good thing to do is read, books to your children, maybe do some activities with them. Or you can go, like, if it's nice outside, you can go to a park and play, like, a scavenger game or something like that. You know, keep it fun and interesting and 
educational. That's the main big thing, that you want to keep it educational, fun, and interesting. You want them to be engaged in it. You don't want them to, um, for you to have an activity plan that's not fun for them or that their interest is not there. Make it fun. Amson loves the um, trains. We got on the train, he'll name all the trains on the train map. And I let him. I let him sit there. That's how he got to know his alphabets and stuff like that. Oh, mommy, look, that's the A train. Okay, Amson, where's the L train at? He'll look for the L train, point for the L train. He loves trains. So that's something that we do on the subway just to keep him occupied a little bit because when you're in, like, a crowded area, children tend to be like, oh, my goodness, no, oh, my goodness, so many people. Oh, they're not crazy. So that's just one thing that I like to do to keep him occupied and not so that way he won't be yelling or trying to run somewhere. Another thing I like to do that I just recently started doing was I actually bring a book with me. I actually have a book inside my bag that I can take out for you. He takes at least one book, a uh, maximum five books I allow him to with us anywhere that we're going. So today we went to the doctor's office. So he took books. I wasn't expecting for the doctor's office because they, the last time we went, they didn't have this. But they actually had their tables covered in books. So you, children, grab a book, read a book. But this is what I recently started doing on the trains or when we're gonna, when I know that we're gonna be waiting a long time somewhere. So he got a book. He gets to choose the five books or the one book. And when we're going on the train, it's one when it's like the doctor's office or something like that, or mommy has to go to the doctor, five books is okay. So we just take some books, like Tattertailing He Chose, The Night Before Thanksgiving, Corduroy, um, I'm a Little Teapot, and sorry, Hey Diddle Diddle. Another thing that we like to do, so like, <clears throat> sorry, I'm getting off topic. So with the books, I like to read them to him and he'll, like, for example, Hey Diddle Diddle. <clears throat> I'll read it to him and then we'll, like, name the colors on the page or, oh my goodness, do you see the spider? Do you see the raindrops? Where's the cloud at, Amson? That's something that I like to do with him. Another thing that I found very interesting, I know a lot of parents don't like to give their child their phone, like, Oh, no, they're going to break it. Or, oh, no, I don't like it because it's too brainwashing or anything like that. But you can actually download the app. I don't know if you guys can see it. The app ABC Mouse that's, like, right here. And when you go to it, it pops up. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm waiting for it to pop up. It pops up, and it's <clears throat> like a classroom on the go. Except for on the subway trains where it can't wait because you need internet. But you pop it up, and you... I'm sorry, it's like going crazy right now. Um, so you pop it up, and you give it to them. Let them play the game that's on ABC Mouse. It's educational, it's fun, and it'll keep them engaged in it for like about at least 20 minutes. 20 minutes gives you time. And it's a class, just like a classroom. And you click on the classroom right here. Sorry. You click on the classroom. And then it brings you here. See? And then you just click on your current lesson, which is right here. And then it takes you to the educational games. Amson was learning how to subtract earlier today. He's three years old, learning how to subtract on ABC Mount. It was a caterpillar game. The caterpillar came. There was leaves on the on the um on the branch. Amson had to count the leaves first. Hit the number that that that's like if there was eight leaves, he'll have to hit the number eight. And then the caterpillar came and ate like three or four leaves. And then Amson will have to subtract it. Like, okay, how many leaves are left? So he'll have to recount the leaves to see how many leaves are left, and then he'll press the button. He was learning how to subtract. And it's like really, really good. I love this Daddy, game. Mommy, also, I downloaded. But there are two. Yes, baby. Mm. <laughs> two diapers. I told him there was no more because I'm trying to potty train him. And he when he found them. Interesting stuff, huh? Also, Amson has a 
folder in my phone as well as his iPad is all these games included where he has like all these kid games. No. What should we call it? Can you please stop jumping? This is yours. Go ahead. Go to the room. Go watch. Finish watching Gumby. So that's something that you guys can download. It's only $7.99 a month. If you can't afford it, you can try the free trial for three months in case you might not like it or something like that. But it's awesome. It teaches them a whole lot. And even at that, you can download. They have free ABC mouse um, stuff. Like, I got the free books in here. If you can see, I'm trying to get a good lighting. The free books, as you can see, Ham and Jam. And they have this ABC music video. This is how Amson learned how to say his thing his ABCs. He learned his alphabet this way, which is really cool but weird at the same time. So, this is basically what it does. Is you press the button, and if you can hear... So this is basically what that app is, and it's actually just called A through Z music videos. You can download that for your six month old or something and just play the alphabet song, you know, have it playing while it's very right, like have it playing on the side and you're there playing a game with them. You can do a whole bunch of activities to occupy the time with your children. You don't have to always just have them playing with their toys and stuff like that. You can do that, but it's best if you're more engaging with them. I'm not saying that it's not a bad idea not to be engaging, but the more engaged you are, the more fun and fun learning will be for them. You can't expect them to learn by themselves. So, with that being said, I will do another video about um, Amson and me. Maybe cooking one of the recipes in here, or maybe cooking a, the pizza that I was talking about earlier. And showing you guys how we make pizza here at our house. I will also be doing a video about what's in my purse and what's in my park bag. Because I have a pocketbook that I take with me everywhere. And I also have a purse bag, a pop, a park bag that I take with me to the park when me and Amson go out. So I'll do a video on that. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There are more things to come. I am like running on topics and overflowing with them. I am making lists. I am here just, I'm just here to... Help you guys understand and any questions that you have, maybe. I'm here to share with my experiences with you to help you. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can email me. I'll have that link down below. You can check out my blog, which is will be down below as well, as well as my Facebook page that I have. On all of these pages, there will be fun things to do with your children. There will be fun advice fun tips, arts and crafts ideas, cooking ideas, um, ideas on where to take them, maybe coupons and codes, how to get free things and stuff like that. I am all about it. So, leave a comment below, like, share, tell a friend. I am here with open arms to help you guys. That's all. So, I hope you guys like it. And this is not only a channel for just mommies and daddies. Aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, grandparents, everyone is welcome to tune in. I will have videos on different activities to do with children. I will have videos on things that you can do around the house to improve your home. I will have videos on things about <laughs> shopping and stuff like that for yourself. I have tips about gardening, tips about cooking, cooking segments and stuff like that. I am all about it. I am very arts and crafts, hands-on, cooking, creative person. So I want to just share that with you guys. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it wasn't so boring neither. Thanks again.